Hey, it's Adrian and today I'm taking a look at this Hydoc H1 which is something that I didn't know I needed till I tried it out and what sets this apart is that this is a chat GPT powered doc that you can use to transcribe meetings or to get summaries. Now this is really handy because if you're on a lot of meetings and you know you kind of zone out or you really only want to get to the part that's pertinent to you, this is going to come in clutch. But actually the most impressive feature on here for me is what they call their BNC or bidirectional noise cancellation. Now you've heard of ANC, well what this will do is it will effectively cancel out background or ambient noise both on your end and on the caller's end and once you experience it and you see just how effectively this does that, it's something you're not going to want to live without. On top of that we also have a rich port selection at the back which includes two HMI ports capable of 4K video at 60Hz, there's up to 100 watt of power delivery for your laptop and 18 watts of power delivery for your phone. There's also a built-in micro SD and standard SD card slot built-in ethernet port, local storage, really there's a lot to talk about with this unit. So a big thanks to HiDoc for sending this out for review, but let's take a closer look and you can see if this deserves a place on your desk. In the box, we have the HiDoc H1 unit. We have the power brick and power cable along with a handy carrying case, a wire strap, quick start manual microphone with charging base for it and a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. The design on the Hidoc H1 is really nice and it should blend in with most desk setups. Now I have the kind of dark slate gray color here but it is also available in a lighter color. Now pictured with this is this optional microphone attachment that I have here and you can see that there is a magnetic port on the side where that snaps into and then once you do remove the headset there are charging contacts on there so it's you know a very nice and clean modular type of design there's also an led indicator status light the magnet is also pretty strong because i can rotate this kind of shake it and it still stays in place taking a closer look at the earpiece so there is a tactile button at the top and that functions in the same way as the high dog button just to add key points or markers whenever you're having chats and then we also have an led indicator light there as well and this is rotatable. The rear has a pairing button and then we also have rubber feet once you remove these protective stickers. IDOC H1 unit looks premium and it feels premium in the hand, very well built and there's no creaking or anything like that going on. Now we have this massive speaker grill and under here is a 7 watt driver and 5 watt tweeter. Now we also have volume control with this knob and you can see it's rotatable both ways and there's some nice knurling going on there. It feels really nice to touch and you know, good grip ability. This is also tactile. You could press it down to play and resume music. And then we also have a soft glow LED indicator light under here to just show you certain status effects like if it's muted or not. Now one of the standout features of this unit is actually this red little button that we can use as a slider. And this is what HIDAC calls their BNC or bi-directional noise cancellation. We also have standard buttons to answer calls, to hang up on calls, or to mute the microphone. And then there is this special high dock button, which is what we'll use to add kind of like points of interest or chapter markers or to start recordings. And I will demo that later. The side of the unit has a Bluetooth pairing button. We also have the 18 watt power delivery to charge your phone with up to 10 gigabits per second transfer speeds. And very handy is we have two separate card slots, one for a micro SD and one for regular SD card and these speeds are up to 312 megabytes using the 4.0 speeds. The rear of the unit has the power port, a USB type C port you're going to use to connect your laptop or desktop. There's two HDMI ports capable of 4K at 60 Hertz. There's also another USB type C port capable of 10 gigabit speed, a USB type A port at the same speed and another USB type A port at five gigabit speeds and then a 2.5 gig ethernet port. The bottom of the unit has rubber feet to keep everything nice and planted. Specs include bi-directional noise canceling. There's a seven watt driver and five watt tweeter, a hundred watt power delivery for laptops and 18 watt for phones. 2.5 gig ethernet. We have SDXE 4.0 speeds for the card reader slots. There's three USB type C ports and two USB type A ports. Bluetooth 5.2, there's 32 gigabytes of local storage and support for Windows, Mac, and Android. To get everything set up, I've plugged in the ethernet cable to the rear of the dock. I'm also gonna plug in the USB type C cable that was supplied and it's connected to my laptop as well. And then finally the power cable. All right, so the HiDoc H1 is now connected to my laptop and I've gone to the website highnotes.hidoc.com 
and you can see it shows that it's not currently connected so I'm going to tap on that and it shows that it wants to connect so I'll just tap on the H1 and hit connect and now we're completely connected so the next step is just, just update the firmware and get testing all right, the firmware update is complete and now I can fully use the HiDoc H1. Let's take a look at the High Notes website. So you can see you have the option to upload video clips directly from your computer if you have something recorded. Now I'm just using the local storage feature. So if I tap on that, you could see whatever I've recorded locally, this is what I can access and transcribe. Now if we go into configuration, you have the option to automatically record any type of phone calls that come in, which is a handy feature. And you can also play this recording notification so everyone can hear start recording. If you live somewhere where you need to notify the other party, you could turn that on. And then you can also turn on this option to automatically upload and transcribe basically anything that you record instead of you know manually clicking this option here to upload and transcribe. You could just have it always done automatically. If I click on my profile here, there's three plans. So the basic plan includes 30 mobile notes with 10 minutes per note. So you have free transcription and 57 languages supported and a brief AI summary. Now, if you go over to the HiDoc device owner, you have all of those basic features, but you also have the HiDoc recording transcription, uh, voice mark feature, you can view and search notes, and you do have access to the device manager so you can update the firmware. And then there is the pro membership here, which is what I have right now. So you get everything on the other plans, but you also get speaker identification if more than one person is speaking, advanced AI summary, integration with Google Doc, Notion, Microsoft OneNote, and you can share it to social media. So note that whenever you upload a file, you can upload a maximum of four hours per file. So that should be quite enough for a meeting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to connect the H1 to my Samsung phone. So I'm just gonna press and hold the pairing button pairing and I could see the blue LED indicator light showing it's in pairing mode so I'll just hit scan and I see the H1 right here tap on that tap on pair the first device is connected successfully and it's that simple to connect your phone to the H1 uh, that tea you bought the the no uh -huh. caffeine one um, where did you buy that at oh the red container yeah Fresh food. Okay, next time you go, can you get me another one? I'm almost out. Okay. All right, so the phone call I just had, I'm just gonna click on upload and transcribe, and I'm just gonna wait for that to happen. So basically, I just had a call about, you know, tea, <laughs> and for someone to pick that up for me the next time they go to the store. So I'm just gonna exit out of here so we can see it's a noise test phone call. So I just referenced that I'm not calling to test the noise this time, but that I'm talking about T. So here it identifies, you know, speaker one and speaker two. And then I could see a summary, which is to purchase another no caffeine tea. The responsible party is the caller and the deadline is the next shopping trip. Um, that's just really so cool and so neat to see that and of course I could just copy this or even send it in an email to remind the person of it All right now I'm gonna demo the chat GPT powered functionality where it can just summarize You know a note or a meeting for us and also give us a transcription So a lot of times I have an idea and I'll make a notepad file, but this is just way more convenient I could just go ahead and press and hold the high doc button I see the blue LED indicator light, so I know it's actively listening to me at this point in time. So right now I'm using a mechanical keyboard and I've loved using it just because, you know, the keyboard's great and so is the software experience. And here I'm gonna create a marker because the idea that I have is to create kind of a one-year follow-up video to describe my thoughts using this keyboard because I think it's a worthwhile keyboard to have. Now the other thing that makes the keyboard worthwhile to have is the software. I'm just going to create a marker again. And because the software has a proprietary feature that lets you pair the keyboard with multiple devices and you could switch in between and copy and paste files very seamlessly. And I'm going to create another marker here because while there's a lot of great mechanical keyboards that are better than this keyboard, a lot of them lack a lot of that type of functionality. 
Okay, so now that I've you know kind of expressed my thoughts and the idea that I have for a upcoming YouTube video or follow-up video, I'm just gonna press and hold the high dock button down. The LED indicator light is gone, so the recording has stopped. The next thing I'm gonna do is to go to the High Notes website. All right, so I'm now on the highnotes.highdoc.com site, and I'm gonna tap on the connected area here, and I can see that this is the recording that I've just made, and of course, I just uploaded it using the local storage right to the website here. So from here, I can tap on Upload and Transcribe, and this is where the chat GPT powered functionality comes in because this is both going to give me a transcription and a summary of what I've just spoken about. And on top of that, it's going to put in kind of key markers every time I pressed it on the high doc unit. Now, if I was using the optional earpiece, I can also tap on the button on the earpiece and do the same type of thing where I add chapters and markers. But let's just go ahead and take a look now at what was transcribed and it says here discussion on the features of a mechanical keyboard for a YouTube video. I will tap on that and you can see it's pretty much saying exactly, you know, or it's transcribing exactly what I was speaking with, but you can modify this, you know, by tapping the pencil icon here if it's not to your liking or if it got something wrong. So here's the summary and you could see the markers are every time I mentioned that I was gonna create a marker, here's that marker and you can see it follows along with that text. And then I can also just download this or just copy and paste this. Now here's the summary where it says, the participant expressed appreciation for the keyboard's performance and software experience, highlighting its seamless functionality for pairing with multiple devices. And then here's an outline so you can see how this can be very beneficial whether you're in a meeting or you just have an idea that came to you and you just want that you know nicely detailed and mapped out this does a lot of the work for me i actually don't need to put this in a notepad file or a wordpad file and just having that ability to make these type of recordings just on the go anytime an idea comes that kind of alone is worth the price for me if you really think about it, this opens up a ton of opportunities in terms of the transcription and summarization feature because there's a lot of times where I'm just like listening to a webinar in another browser while I'm working. So my head is just like half focused on it. It's kind of like background noise. But with this, it can actually record that audio and then just give me a you know summary of whatever you know key points on there or a full transcription so I could just skim through without actually having to go through and listen to a full you know one hour seminar. Same with YouTube videos, you know, this can just summarize key points anytime you're you know trying to learn or educate yourself. So I really see a ton of opportunity there. All right, now I'm gonna test the bidirectional noise cancellation feature. So I have a keyboard going in the background, verbs chirping and I'm very close to the speaker outputting that, so it's gonna be pretty loud. Now let's slide the slider all the way to the top, and you can hear exactly what the bidirectional noise cancellation feature sounds like. You should be hearing basically just my voice being completely isolated with little to no background or ambient noise. Welcome to High Doc Bidirectional Noise Cancellation Demo. In this demo, we will play audio with various background noises. By moving the red slider up and down, you can experience the noise reduction performance. During the demo, you can exit by pressing the hang up call button at any time. Let's start with an introduction to the high doc brand with keyboard typing and construction noise. We believe that communication can solve 90% of problems. The communication devices of the future should effortlessly capture voice and take notes. So that bidirectional noise cancellation feature or BNC really is a game changing feature. And I think you know what I mean, because if you've been on any type of meetings where there's a bunch of people on there, there's usually, you know, one or two people, anytime they're on the mic, there's just a lot of background noise going on, whether that's a fan, music playing, TV in the background, other people talking. And this does a fantastic job of just, you know, killing that noise off and just isolating their voice. I really just wish they would put this on, you know, kind of gaming headsets so whenever you're playing Call of Duty or whatever, you can not hear people's garbage music playing in the background. One thing that I really like about the design is that you could just pop off the microphone attachment anytime you don't need it and then just pop it back in and you're good to go. Now I did use this on calls and the audio quality is good. Of course, not as good as the speaker on here. Now there is also a button at the top here and if you long press that while you're on a call or a meeting, you're gonna hear an audible beep and that's the same as you know pressing the button on here to add a marker or a chapter or a point of interest on here. So you have, you know, 
audible feedback that you actually have pressed it and then whenever you want to save on desktop space you just yank this you know component or attachment out and you have a much cleaner setup and then anytime you need it just snap it back in super handy and convenient. By the way, if you have a laptop with really underpowered speakers, well, you could use the Hiloc H1 speakers to output your audio. Here's a demo of that. And you could see that I could just go ahead and press the knob to pause music playback or to resume it. And this thing gets super loud and it's actually, you know, kind of vibrating the desk a little bit. The sound is truly stand out on here. The LED indicator light is also handy. So to start a recording, I could just press the high notes button here. And anytime I want to place a marker or chapter, for example, every time I press this, notice that the LED indicator light flashes white temporarily to let you know you've successfully activated a marker or a key point in the conversation or meeting. And whenever you want to mute audio or mute your microphone, once you press it, you see it's going to show red and then it just, you know, softly glows until you press it again and then it's going to stay solid blue. Note that anytime you're using Zoom or Microsoft Teams like I have open right now, you can see that if I go ahead and hit the mute button on the H1, it automatically mutes it in Microsoft Teams and if I press it again, it's just gonna automatically unmute it so you have integration built in. While I only tested this with Microsoft Teams and you can see in the demo that when I press the mute button on here, it automatically just synchronized that in my Microsoft Teams meeting. There's also support for Zoom, Google Meet, Discord, Skype, WhatsApp, etc. I've gone ahead and connected two secondary monitors to the dock and you can see right now I have a triple display setup and I can just go ahead and move those windows around. So yeah, this really does clear up a lot of space on your desk if you wanna use this with multiple monitors. If you plan on using the dock to charge your phone using the 18 watt power delivery port, I'm just gonna plug in my charging cable here. And I have a special cable and you could see it showing me the power delivery right now. So I'm at around 15 watts, which is very close to the 18 watts that's rated. Now I am using a Samsung phone and they're known to throttle the charging speed once a battery level is over a certain amount. So, you know, that's pretty close to the rated 18 watts. Now that the micro SD card is inserted into the H1 dock, I could see it show up on my laptop here. So I'm just gonna go into the video folder. And if I look at this very last folder here, the size is about four gigs on here. You could see 3.9 gigabytes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this and paste it into this folder here. And let's take a look at the transfer speeds. And you can see that's pretty good and it's going fast. Now the top rated speed on here is about 312 megabytes. But of course this is really gonna be dependent on the type of micro SD card or SD card that you're using, you know, it's gonna go by the max speed on that. But you know, this is a pretty good sustained write speed. I'm not gonna plug in my SD card into the high dock and you're gonna see it pop right up. So I'll just go into that folder and I'm just gonna take a look at the video files here. So the largest here is about 1.5 gigs so let's just go ahead and copy that and paste it right now. And we'll take a look at the write speed on this. And you could see that it's fluctuating a bit, but the average is at about 90. And again, if I was to use a much higher rated SD card, I could get closer to that 300 megabyte mark. So I found the HiDoc H1 to be just a fascinating piece of tech and something that I didn't even realize I needed. It was completely not on my radar, but after using it and going through all of the features, I don't see how I can live without this now. And I used to always think, you know, these type of docks are mostly for people who work from a laptop. If you have a desktop, you don't really need one, but actually, I plan on using this with my desktop because the ability to just, you know, hit record, say out my thoughts or anything I'm thinking, and then just have that, you know, as a transcription or a summary for me to just go back with actual, you know, laid out plans, kind of itemize, 
it really adds a lot of structure where I'm usually just, you know, having a bunch of notepad files on my desktop. Same with whenever I take an incoming call, you know, like I demoed, it really structures that call and highlights key points on there, kind of like in an order that you can easily just refer to. Same with if you're on any type of meeting where, again, some parts are not relevant to you, you can easily just skim through the transcription or just see the summary on there so you get the gist of it, especially if you're kind of just someone who needs to be there but you don't need to actively be in the meeting, this really comes in handy. And that's not even including the BNC or bidirectional noise cancellation. This is actually not marketing hype. This is a feature that obviously has been tested and perfected. It really is able to isolate voices and really drown out pretty much the majority of ambient or background noise. And it's a piece of technology that I want to see implemented in a lot more things like I mentioned, you know, gaming headsets would be a great start. So if your laptop has an abysmal port selection or you just need, you know, to connect more devices, don't just settle for one of those cheap docks, you know, 30, 40, $50 that you'd find on Amazon. Try something like this. You know, it really is a life-changing type of experience with the amount of functionality and opportunity and convenience this just opens up for you. You know, you can have uh, two additional displays using the HDMI 4K at 60 Hertz. You could have power delivery to your laptop up to 100 watts power delivery to your phone. You also have a micro SD and SD card reader. You don't need to use any type of adapter. This really just offers a ton of conveniences across the board. So if you're interested in picking up the HiDoc H1, I'm gonna leave some links down below for you to pick one up for yourself or to learn more. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing and don't forget to check out some of my other tech related videos and I'll see you in the next one soon.